Okay, so here we go. This is the uh, new version 1.21 software uh, that is uh, on the Kenwood TS990 uh, lineup. And I've just got a, I don't normally use this radio on uh, HF, it's normally on, it's dedicated to six. We've got a, a six meter amp over there. Oh, well, it's a HF and six meter, sorry. Uh, Acom 1500 and, and that's pretty much how it all sort of comes together. Um, normal sort of working conditions are over this side of things. Is that mic really coming? When you, when you zoom past that mic, it kind of knocks you out, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. So what we've got so far is um, just uh, this has been uh, started up very, very much uh, into the decode. Um, version 1.21 was released on the Kenwood firmware uh, just yesterday. or well, version 1.2 was, but 1.21 was released today. Released today. And um, so now they can do CW um, encode decode. Um, and uh, that's you know quite a handy little thing that uh, they've been able to do. So how well does it work? We're going to find out. Give me a second. I'll see if I can find a signal. So straight off the bat, we're pointing to um, a short path, uh, long path, sorry, long path Europe. And I probably need to bring his tone up a little bit. But Sugar 52 Delta Delta, and he's not exactly a um, low power station, I can tell you. Um, and he's on 7025 points. Uh, well, it's recorded as 790, but it's, it's not it's, uh, 0 0.98, um, as you'll see up here. So I've obviously moved frequency to get him tuned in from where I initially uh, dropped on there. Which, and and the more I'm looking at that, the more I can see that I need to change his tone. And we adjust his tone basically to uh, try and see if we can actually get him to resolve a little better. Now we just started to, but that sometimes can be uh, a little bit um, deceiving. Just wait for him to come back in a second. Mm, getting a bit of character issues there. I actually need to bring that pitch up a bit. See how that goes there. It should read Sugar 52 Delta Delta but no, still getting a little few little funnies in there. That one read better. Uh, and as you can see we've got a fair bit of signal on him. Uh, there's no problem there. So let's see how he comes back on his next read. But um, uh, just a little bit about the version 1.21 software while we're um, uh, putting this um, Oh, that didn't quite go well then. See how that goes, but I, I reckon we've gone too high on him. The version 121 software um, was released yesterday as version 1.2. There was a slight problem with the 1.2, so uh, today I'm going to bring that down a bit further. See if that comes. Yeah, I have to wait again. Anyway, um, so version 1.21 was released today. Uh, bug. Well, there was only one bug, but that's been fixed. And um, bring that up a bit. And uh, that's it's well, <laughs> it's now working, and there's no glitches. But you now need to learn how to make the CW um, actually work reasonably well. And um, this is a bit of a thing where you've just got to play with it. Um, and you can see how I'm picking up some letters at the moment. Um, we seem to be, he sends um, please and, and reply with the K very well and that comes out but sometimes we're getting a little bit of change in the way that he sends um, and probably the way that I'm listening to his signal too. Now this is, I haven't moved at this time so we've got um, Security X um, coming through. Now if that comes up, yeah see now we, we didn't get the Delta Delta um, so we're still not quite right. I'm going to bring him up just a bit more and just see if that actually helps him a bit. Um, but have a play with this. Um, uh, this version 1.21 has got a lot of other things on it too that have been fixed and sorted out. I think Ken would have done a great job. Um, but um, just remember, when you go to do your upgrade um, uh, of your firmware, um, they always talk about the memory in button. The biggest confusing factor is there are two memory in buttons, one there and one down there. We want this one right here. Oh, geez, if that doesn't blur. There we go. So the memory in that's next to the memory VFO, you hold that in while you're holding the power button in to turn it on and that'll automatically come in. Now that's actually receiving a lot better. You can see the Sugar 52 Delta Delta twice there, please. Um, and um, it's just starting to pick up, you know, a little bit better. Um, have a play with this. Um, I think just go through and find your own sort of answers as you're mucking around with it. Definitely 
drop um, notes on Facebook as to you know maybe tricks that you found to resolve things better. Um, that's definitely doing better at the moment. He's about uh, five and seven at the moment out of um, Europe. So, and there's someone there that's a lot lower that's probably coming back to him at the moment. But uh, I don't think we're going to resolve him. But uh, enjoy your TS990 with version 1.21. I think it's definitely got some features that is going to make you know a lot of people reasonably happy. And uh, just do like I'm doing, play, just keep on playing with it and um, find, you know, my only suggestion would be when you're just getting used to it, um, find strong signals to play with. It's, uh, it's just so much easier to just kind of try and find the right pitch and, and what you need to do. All right, 73s from VK3, Charlie Mike in Tangambalanga, Northeastern Victoria. Hope you enjoy your 990 upgrade. Cheers.